Okay, ladies and gentlemen, before we left for lunch, the last spot that we stopped off with was we were talking about allegories of certain terms in this poem. We realized that the captain isn't talking about the captain of a ship, it's talking about Abraham Lincoln. We went on to our second term, the ship. We had that real quick discussion together back and forth about what's the captain's responsibility with a ship. We know what Lincoln's responsibilities are, so what is his ship? Who is he responsible for? What is his vessel? No? The people. The people are getting there. We're getting closer. Think broader. Think bigger, Alex. America. That's right. Our ship is America. Good job. All right. We have two more terms, ladies and gents. Two more that we've got to discuss. The trip and or the voyage. Okay, the trip and the voyage are almost synonyms that are responding to the same exact idea. So we're going to go ahead and write down the word voyage at the bottom of our My Notes column. And I want you to focus in on line 19 of this poem. Focus in on line 19. The U.S. or the United States is anchored, safe, and secure. The voyage closed and done. What was the United States voyage? What was its travel during this time? What was it dealing with during this time, Andre? The journey of peace, and how are we going to get to this journey of peace? What did we have to get through? Fernando? A battle? Yeah, all the voyages are going to be the battles, the war itself. You're absolutely right. So, we did a very, very quick analysis of the allegory to help you understand the bulk of this poem. Now, you're going to take your understanding a step further with the TPCAST analysis. So, that sheet of paper, that handout that you started with before lunch, I want you to place it in front of you right now. I talking, I just say that there's no. And what we need to do now is we need to get you prepared to complete your initial start of this TPCAST analysis.